Hi, this is Randy. Well, I'm back on the scene and uh, I thought I'd give you guys an inside look at the car wash while I was uh, doing this video today. Um, my surgery went well. It was uh, last Friday. I am back driving again. So I hope this guy doesn't mind me filming him and putting him on YouTube. Oops. Um, so I am back um, doing videos and today's video is about uh, how do you get past this uh, need for revenge or justice, uh, the justice that we feel we are owed for all of the emotional crimes that have been committed against us in our relationship, in our marriage, in our live together partnership with someone who, you know, did not give a shit about us in the end. Well, everybody says, okay, yes, uh, have a good life, and I'm not going to argue with that, of course. Yeah, of course, obviously, you're going to have a good life, you're going to be recovering, you're going to uh, do be doing a lot of self-care, any kind of self-improvement, uh, all sorts of, you know, physical exercises, putting good things in your body, reading up on information, not making the same mistakes, trying to remain emotionally stable or get to the point where you're emotionally stable, uh, getting comfortable being by yourself, um, having to navigate the dating world if you so choose. All these things are part of your recovery process. Um, not getting too depressed, uh, building your own self-esteem if it needs to be built up. Okay, so, but what do you do about revenge? What do you do about the fact that there has been this injustice, this unfairness that you kind of need to be resolved? And I've talked about karma. And I've talked about, you know, I guess my belief in karma, that karma will work itself out with the narcissist, you may not see it. You may not be able to witness it happening when the narcissist gets his or her karma. Now, hopefully your narcissist will be granted his or her karma to balance things out. Balance out the fact that all of that negativity that the narcissist has put in to your life. I've got to go put this mirror, fix this mirror. Um, I'm going to go outside. All this negativity. Ow. Okay, so my surgery, I still got to, it's hard to walk. Okay, so when the narcissist, uh, Put all this negativity out in the world the negativity is going to definitely come back to him or her you may or may not be able to witness it if you are gone full no contact meaning you're not associating with anybody who knows the narcissist and not looking on social media you will one, be able to protect yourself from finding out supposedly all these maybe good things that are happening with the narcissist, but you will also rob yourself from finding out the bad things that are happening to the narcissist as well. And uh, might sound really evil to you, but I just love hearing about bad things that happened to the narcissist um, or it's not me it's not basically 
it's not really things that happened to him, but things that are going on with him based on his ignorant life choices. Um, I mean, I'll take natural disasters as well and accidents, but um, the bad things that are happening to my narcissist are fully because of his own personal choices. So he's creating and continues to create, you know, that chaotic lifestyle, keeps digging himself deeper and deeper into the rabbit hole. And uh, I talked about how many life changes my narcissist has gone through in the short time that we've been apart and life changes cause stress and he's um, coming up on a brand new life change I'm going to keep that to myself right now until I'm ready to do a video on it but ladies and gentlemen I believe I have received my karma and it feels so good um, like I said, I'm not going to reveal what's happened or what's in the process of happening, but it's grand. Now, good and bad, okay, when you see these things on Facebook, they all appear good or you see things, you hear things. There's certain life changes that people naturally want to say, oh, congratulations, oh, you're moving to a new home, oh, you're getting married, oh, you're having a baby, oh, um, you got a new job, um, oh, your parent died. Now, so we have certain connotations to these life events, like we view most of the, those things I just said as positive and, or negative, like, oh, someone died, that must be negative, oh, you got a new job, that must be great, okay, but we're really assuming a lot there. We cannot label necessarily these life changes and know if they're good or bad. A lot of the things that appear good can be bad, and some of the things that appear bad can actually be good. We don't know exactly, but um, I'm pretty sure that, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that this next thing that this next venture <laughs> that my ex has um, is engaging in and in the process of happening is is going to be bad but it's it's again it's a long-term thing it's not going to play itself out right away um, but look I didn't have to do anything I just sit here and you know recover and you know date and sit, you know, in my own house and in peace and socialize when I'm ready to socialize and, you know, get surgery on my knee when it needs surgery and just continue to go about life. I'm not super happy, but like, I'm not super upset. I'm not fighting with somebody every day. I'm not worried that somebody's cheating on me every day. I'm not constantly, you know, checking up on somebody. I'm not trying to manage anybody else's life but my own. So, you know, it's got its benefits. Um, but I guess what I'm trying to say is if you wait long enough and if you do continue to have some ties to the narcissist, you know, by proxy or by social media, and you're strong enough to view things in a way that you don't assume everything that looks positive is positive or everything that looks negative is negative. You know your narcissist. You can see through that kind of crap. You should be able to. Um, you, if you wait long enough, they're going to get their karma. So I got four, four years down and I'm seeing some great karma coming back to the narcissist. And it feels really good. And I, I look forward to seeing more karma. I'm not quite sure when he'll be done getting his karma because he, he deserves quite a, quite a bit. While I just, uh, you know, sit back, relax, enjoy, enjoy life, and uh, take what comes. So thanks for listening today, guys. Have a great day.